My second question is, you, you are really championing this uh, cause of conserving natu natural resources, especially water. And as we see entrepreneurship today in the country, right, there is so much talk about uh, entrepreneurship and startups. What role do you think entrepreneurs can play uh, in really helping uh, more causes which are helping the environment, which are helping sustain life for the future? See, one thing uh, we need to understand is, probably in the last twenty, thirty years where concern for ecology has risen to some extent in the in the world's population and also in the leadership. But still, in lots of people's mind, it is like this, economy is today's problem, ecology is tomorrow's problem. No, ecology is today's problem. And another dimension is, the so-called activists, ecological activists and others have brought about a culture that if you stand up for ecology, you must be against economic progress. This is the fundamental I'm trying to change. If you pit economy versus ecology, economy will win hands down. It is extremely important that ecology and economy should walk hand in hand, that we have to look at how to create economic situations or economic uh, structures which are ecologically sensitive. If you do not do this, if you pit them against each other, uh, ecology will get washed out, economy will win because human aspirations are right now like that. So entrepreneurs, it is very, very important, whether established businesses or entrepreneurs, it's important that we see how to craft our businesses so that they're ecologically sensitive. One important thing is, people need to understand this. Uh, this is an unpopular thing to say, because ecology means everybody want to hit some industry. Yes, industries have polluted water, industries have exploited uh, the land and mineral resources that is there. But we need to understand the biggest ecological damage that's happening on this planet is our rampant agricultural activity, very inefficient agricultural activity. If we do agriculture using modern science and technology, Right now, whatever the area of land we are using on this planet, with one-third of that land, we can grow enough food for all the people on this planet. Especially if people switch to plant-based uh, diets, you can very easily make sure you can... two-thirds of the land we are using for agriculture can be converted into agroforestry and to put land under shade because that is the most important thing to do. Right now, water distress has come to many nations, particularly to India. We need to understand the real issue is not water. The real issue is the soil. Soil is losing its strength. Soil has lost its organic content. That is the reason why water is a problem.